गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास सेवन आई सेट रंजीत कुमार आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द ई लर्निंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल कुंती नगर नवादा दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ द चैप्टर न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट ऑटोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स मीन्स प्लांट्स कैन मेक देयर ओन फूड विद द हेल्प ऑफ CO2 and water in presence of chlorophyll and sunlight to produce carbohydrate and oxygen this process is called photosynthesis so till now we have seen the activities which explains that starch is produced during photosynthesis chlorophyll is essential for photosynthesis and sunlight is essential for photosynthesis these things we have seen till now in today's video we are going to see heterotrophic nutrition in plant means there are some non green plants means the plant which are not green and as we know the leaf the plant is green due to presence of chlorophyll if i am talking about non green plant it means chlorophyll is not present as i have discussed in previous video chlorophyll help to trap the solar energy and it means it absorbs the solar energy since there is no chlorophyll in these plants heterotrophic plants then there will be no tra trapping of solar energy so there will be no photosynthesis so if there is no photosynthesis taking place in some non green plants how do they obtain their uh, food how they do obtain their nutrition so they depend upon the green plants means the food produced by the green plant such type of nutrition is called heterotrophic nutrition this type of nutrition can be seen in different plants so different types of heterotrophic nutrition in plants are parasitic plants means some plants are parasitic some are saprophytic plants some are insectivores or carnivorous plants and some are um, that uh, uh, symbiotic symbiotic plants so till now these four type of plants are there heterotrophic plants are there these we will see one by one so first what is heterotrophic nutrition some non green plants which can not prepare their food and depend up on food prepared by other plants these are called heterotrophic nutrition in plants so types of heterotroph plants there are four type of heterotrophic plants first is parasitic plant second is saprophytic plant third is insect divorous or carnivorous carnivorous plants and fourth is 
symbiotic plants so there are four type of heterotrophic plants so we will see one by one first parasitic plant so before entering into parasitic plant i want to tell you once what is parasite parasite the organism that lives in or on some other organism and obtain ready made food from the other organism is called parasite for example many microorganism lives within our body so when they live within our body from where they get the nutrient they get nutrient from our body so the food that we eat is the nutrition for the organism present inside our body so they are parasite sometimes uh, tick or some mosquito that sits on your body and it obtain suck they suck your blood so why they suck the blood means they want to take nutrient from the blood as we know whatever food we eat it is digested after digestion it is circulated throughout the body with the help of blood only so when a parasite sucks your blood it means it is obtaining nutrient present in the blood okay so these are called parasite so what is parasitic plant so the non green plants which depend upon other green plant and and obtain their food are called parasitic plant what is parasitic plant this non green plant that cannot make their own food and they depend upon the green plant and from where they obtain their food is called parasitic plant so the green plant on which the parasitic plant depend is called host so if i come to your house you are you are the host i am the guest if you come to my house you are the guest i am the host so what is host the the living organism from which a parasite derive or obtain obtain its food is called host ठीक है so is called host example example of parasitic plant cascuta cascuta or deoda plant it is also called amar bil <coughs> this is the <coughs> example of parasitic plant cascuta it is also called devar plant or amar bil what they do they produce they develop or they produce a this is non green plant as i have already told you non green plant so it is non green means it is yellow in color they do not have chlorophyll they produce a yellow colored tube like structure and this tube like structure it get attached to the host plant jis plant se isko food lena hai green plant se usse wo attach ho jayega and it will wrap around its stem and branches ये उसके स्टेम और ब्रांचेस के चारों तरफ लिपट जाएगा 
with the help of a special structure called hosteria and this hosteria they absorb the ready made food from the green plant so like this they obtain their food so this parasitic plant produces yellow tubular structure that get is that attach themselves वो अपने आप को अटैच कर लेते हैं अटैच देम सेल्फ टू ए प्लांट एंड रैप रैप मीन्स लपेटना रैप अराउंड स्टीम एंड ब्रांचेस वो उसके चारों तरफ लपेट जाते हैं they absorb food from the host plant through a special structure through a special structure called hostoria is called hostoria if you can't see and pronounce it h a u s h a u s t o r i a this is a special structure which is produced by the the cascuta and through which they absorb the food from the host plant okay okay next is saprophytic plants these are also non green plants they cannot make their own food since i have told you non green plant means they do not have chlorophyll and if they do not have chlorophyll they cannot perform photosynthesis they cannot make their own food so these are the non green plant that depends upon dead and decaying organic matter for their food is called saprophytic plants so example of saprophytic plants include fungi such as mushroom molds and yeast these are the example of the Um, saprophytic plants so how they obtain their food they will release digestive enzyme on dead and decaying organic matter and convert it into a solution and this solution is then absorbed by the plant like this saprophytic plants obtain their food you can also perform a activity to see the fungus or to see the development of saprophytic plants what you have to do you have to take a slice of bread in a, in a petri dish or in a glass container and you add some water on that means moisten that bread with water and leave it aside for 2 to 3 days after 2 to 3 days you will see that a <coughs> white cottony means cotton ke jaisa white white cottony structure develop on the bread and this is called bread mold if you see under the magnifying glass you will see a plant like structure very small plant like structure plant like structure like you will see a plant like structure like this you will see a plant like a structure like this under microscope if you see it you will find this structure okay 
microscope no or if you have magnifying glass also you can see like this okay so what is saprophytic plants the non green plants that depend upon dead dead and decaying organic matter are called saprophytic plants example some fungi like mushroom मशरूम वो छत्ता नहीं देते हैं इस प्रकार का स्ट्रक्चर इस प्रकार का स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज कॉल्ड मशरूम मोल्ड्स इटीसी दिस आर द एग्जांपल ऑफ द सेप्रोफाइटिक प्लांट्स हाउ दे ऑप्टेन देयर फूड सेप्रोफाइ plants secretes secretes means release digestive juices on the dead and decaying organic matter and convert it into solution the nutrients are then so one activity that we have to perform activity okay first take a slice of bread and moist Turn it with water. Keep it aside for two to three days. You will observe a. white cotton growth on the blade this is a fungus called blade and if you see under the magnifying glass under magnifying glass it will appear like this here it will appear like this under microscope means under magnifying glass and this network is called hyphae the network formed at the bottom of the bread mold is called hyphae 
H Y P H A E hyphae. Okay. So hope you understand. Next two remaining is insectivores and the symbiotic. We will see in the coming video. Okay.